Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. As you can see, this time we're looking at an Amiga floppy drive. I think this is either from a 600 or a 1200. Um, it's you know it's got the shorter button there, as you can see. Uh, described as faulty. The first thing I did here was just clean the heads with the cotton bud. I've shown that on previous videos, so I'm not going to go over that again. Um, on inspection, um, you know, I've obviously removed the bits of shielding and stuff here. And on inspection, it's a TIAC. Um, I can't. I, I can only see one SMD electrolytic. I think that's probably what the fault could be. Uh, just down here, and there's some corrosion. You can see it. It's that that pin there's dull. Whereas the one on the other side is nice and shiny. Can you see the contrast? So I think that electrolytics leaked. It's only a 4.7, um, but I'm going to swap that out. I think that's probably what's causing the problem. So I'll just show you how it's behaving now on uh, my Amiga 500 Plus here, the one I've got. Uh, just easy access because it's torn down at the moment, um, and then I'll swap that cap out. So hopefully you can see that. Seeking. It's spinning, but it doesn't sound like it's spinning the right speed to me. Right, well, you can see I've swapped out the cap there. Um, it was very close to this, I think it's a crystal it looks like, uh, here. So, it's, you know, I did just touch, you don't you can see, just touch the edge of the plastic there, just melted the edge a little bit as I was trying to remove the old one. But, so uh, yeah, nice clean connections in there now. Um, and I've just tested this, it is working, I'll just show you. So, there you go, you can see the drive there, I'll switch it on, watch the head. Booting. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I've pointed to the screen so it's not going to be easy to do this. Uh, zoom out a little bit if I can. Should be Barnet Commando loading here. There we go, sorted. Before I go, I think it's also worth pointing out that I had to lubricate the drive rail there um, and get some oil into the motor. Um, it's a lot quieter now and it's, it is actually loaded if we just leave that a sec. Get near the end now, I think, that should load without an issue. I've uh, rebooted it several times now, and since I lubricated it, it's worked every time. But prior to that, it was loading part way and then it was doing some, some seek um, as if it couldn't read a track. Uh, but the drive was, you know, the motor there was really no noisy um, on the head um, motor. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's all that needed to be done to that. That's a single SMD cap um, and uh, a bit of lubrication, uh, good as new. So uh, yeah, I'll keep that on standby as a spare, I think. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.